Yes. And here we go. Headbangers and hooligans rolling on a Thursday. Just like The Last Jedi is rolling. And the Nerf Herder reviews are rolling. But we're rolling way fucking cooler than fucking Fred Durst is. Trust me on that. This is the cool rolling. Alright. The Limp Biscuit rolling's fucking lame. Alright. Nerf Herder 4. That's what we're talking about. And I posted it on the on my Facebook page that this is probably Nerf Herder 4, my least favorite of all the full length albums. Uh, but I also stated that every Nerf Herder album has something to make you smile. And this one is no different. Uh, 2008 on Oglio Records. Uh, I remember uh, I'd heard that they were kind of maybe recording a new album. I didn't know for sure. And then one day at, at the place I was working at on lunch break, got on the computer and there it was. Nerf Herder 4. I was like, holy shit. And then, even better, the original lineup. Yes, this bad boy is Perry, singer, guitarist, Charlie on bass, and Steve on drums. The original Nerve Herder is back, and I I was excited. I, I was more than excited. I think I might have been erect. What? I'm just being honest, Penelope. Don't fucking look at me like that. She's, I'm telling you, I think I'm going to be getting a new assistant. Right? It's probably going to happen. We'll, we'll get into the details of that later. But I have to admit something. First time I heard this album, I was pretty disappointed. I was. I, I expected, uh, not that it was terrible. And it's not a terrible album. Uh, and I'm going to get into that as we go through it. But, like, all the awesome songs. And remember when I reviewed American Cheese yesterday? I said how it kind of slowed down in the middle, but it started with a bang, and it ended with a bang? You could kind of say that about this. Kind of. Uh, but some really standout songs... But in the end, I can't lie, uh, it's not their best, but it's still Nerve Herder, and you've heard me say this a thousand times, Nerve Herder's worst is better than 90% of the fucking shit out there. Alright, let's do this. First song, and it kicks off with a really funny song, Shocker. We shouldn't be surprised by that. Nerve Herder? Funny? Oh, me, oh my. And... Keyboards, guitar, drums, bass, and I, I, I'm just picturing Steve Sherlock and Charlie Dennis. It's just awesome. Uh, just picturing them playing these songs. Uh, and then it transitions. I actually use that word with Nerve Herder on this album. For the most part, three chord garage band. Simple choruses, uh, you know, simple guitar work, and it's perfect though. That's what we like. But I do use the word transition because he uses a clean guitar tone on the verses. Pretty cool. And a nice melodic bass line from Charlie. Do you, have you heard me say that about Nerve Herder? Not very much. It's awesome. And Perry sings, hey baby, you better relax. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Won't you please put down that record that was very hard to find. And then they kick back into the intro riff. Oh no, holy smokes. Goodness gracious, great Caesar's ghost. Jiminy crickets and 
Jeez Louise, me oh my, oh me oh my. They're making fun of those little sayings. Some people, older people, like to say the, the stupid shit so they don't cuss. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, shucks. Gosh darn it. Instead of, oh, fuck. Hey, lick my taint. Sorry, I haven't got to say that in a while. I, I miss that. Every once in a while, I like to, not every once in a while, kind of every other day, I would say, I like to throw out, uh, lick my taint. Why? It, that's really ridiculous, isn't it? Why would I even say that? And why would I tell you that I enjoy saying that on a regular basis? Huh. Either way, cool song, kick off the album. Now, it's not uh, Welcome to My World strong. It's not on that level, because that's just a fucking amazing song. But it's still pretty good. And remember, this is like a six year... It's been six years since they had recorded a full-length album. And the old lineup. So, I'm thinking, this is good. I like it. Second song. What do I think? Golf Shirt 2. And remember, on the debut album... They had the song Golf Shirt. That was the second song on there. This isn't as good. Now it starts out, it's just the guitar and Perry singing. I'm parked at the dark end of your street. I'm sticking to my vinyl seat. I've got my big old spy scope out. I'm sneaking right up to your house. And I like those lyrics. Typical nerf herder. Kind of stalking her. Trust me people, I know... Some of you are probably saying, oh, you think it's funny that somebody's stalking somebody? They're joking about it, okay? Uh, and then the chorus, it, it's not bad. It, it's decent. My go golf shirt is tattered and torn. I've been wearing this thing for so long. It's been, I don't have a clue. It's been, I still want you. Uh, it's decent, but... Uh, and I mentioned this yesterday with Defenders of the Faith how it was Pantera fans in love part two. Obviously, this is the same thing. And I'm just not a big fan of that. We only needed one song about a golf shirt. It was a great song. It really was. Uh, so, that's okay, though. I'm going to give him a pass. It's Nerverter. Third song. And to me, it is the standout song of the album. High School Reunion. I know what you're saying, because they had high school on the EP, on my EP, but this is an extension of that, because high school, he was talking about being in high school, this is after, obviously, and it works out great. Cool thing about this, Perry has this lead guitar that he plays throughout, it's it's just a different riff. It's like something you wouldn't expect from Nerf Herder. And it sounds good. Uh, and he plays it throughout. And I really like it. Kind of got like an odd time signature to it. And uh, that's one thing about this album. Like I said about the uh, first song. The clean guitar. And the uh, melodic bass line. Some different stuff on this album that uh, you wouldn't expect from them. The lyrics. So perfect. Who got fat? Who got rich? Who is a loser? Who is a bitch? Who is a washout? Who turned gay? Who is wearing the cheap ass toupee? Who's in the fancy designer pants? Who's got the fake booby implants? Who looks good in their rental tux tuxedo? Who lives in their van on microwave burritos? We're having fun, high school reunion, each and every one. It's the perfect Nerf Herder chorus. Just like I did there, I was, yes, yeah, sing along. Great lyrics. And uh, it's a perfect song, and I love it. Which, after high school reunion, you know I hate saying this, but I have to say it. World Trade Center 7, next song. WTC 7, song number 4. Just, It's just, I don't, it's not a great song. 
That's all I'm going to say about it. It's a filler. And this is Nerf Herder. I'm not going to be ripping on them. This is their fucking week. Okay? Next song. Five. Diana Lee. Back to the Nerfer that we know and love. Catch a guitar riff. Whatever happened to Anna Lee? Whoa, oh, oh, oh. And all the kids on Gino Street. Whoa, oh, oh. Where did they go? I want to know. Whatever happened to Lulu? And then later on he sings, Where did they go? It makes me want to cry. We'll meet again at Alex's Cantina in the Sky. Well, I can't remember the song. Cantina, Star Wars. That's what I was kind of shooting for. That it that didn't go over like I thought it would. It's It sounded cool when I was writing it down, but yeah. I understand. Not that cool, but that song is. It really is. Diana Lee. Song six, Crocodile. It's got kind of an uh, interesting intro guitar riff that he plays throughout the song uh, kind of like WT7 not one of their best so we move on to the next one which after high school reunion is the second best song Manatee got the keyboards and they really sound good on this song and another awesome bass line from Charlie on this his bass and some of it's simple the songs doesn't matter it just it, it's just he sounds good and you really hear it on all these songs I am a manatee I live by the sea I sneak up at night pretty baby just to love you right oh I am a manatee and of course you get the the lady in the background with the backup vocals M A N A T E E I am your manatee, M-A-N-A-T-E-E. And this is really bad, and I just got to be honest about it. My daughter loved this song. And she was about five, four or five. And, and it, it's not totally bad. But then I was, I, I was kind of forgetting how bad some of these lyrics are for children. Tell the lobster, tell the bass, tell the alligator they can kiss my ass. Tell the barnacle, tell the crab, tell the will and Captain Ahab. Now, how you scream and shout hot damn when you feel my whiskers on your clam. And, you know, she wouldn't understand any of that, but you know, the sexual uh, innuendos. And I remember driving in the car one day with her and my son. Dad! I want to hear Manatee from Nerf Herder. Yeah, honey, yeah, let's crank that shit. Either way, it's a great song. Uh, that bass guitar, man, I'm telling you, kind of makes the song. Catchy chorus, though, too. All right, song eight, Garage Cell. And I wrote down the first verse because I kind of like it. Um, real simple drum beat and bass line. Uh, but it's still Nerf Herder. An old plastic mug with a picture of a Smurf on it. An old white leather sofa with a brown stain where you used to sit. 25 cents at your garage sale. And I'm just picturing garage sales. Yeah, I know they're from California, but I'm sure all garage sales are all the same And here in Iowa. You would go to a garage sale and see a couch with stains on it. And... It's hard telling what those stains have come from. And I'm not going to get into it. Next song, nine, Led Zeppelin Rules. Just, I, the chorus. It's just, it doesn't work for me on this. But, remember, you can always find something to make you smile. These lyrics will. I turn on my radio and the music sounds hollow. The first song they're playing sucks and the next one swallows. And it, and it ends up with, don't listen to disco, don't listen to punk, don't listen to junk, don't listen to ska. And he kind of repeats that a few times. So let's get to something good, the next song. Dance. See how I did that? Don't dwell on the bad stuff. 
Saw you at, at a high school dance. I never thought I'd have a chance with you. You felt the same way too. Then you asked me to dance. I thought that I'd wet my pants. I knew that I'd love you forever. And it's a silly song, but it's catchy enough. And I, and I also like the second verse. And he sings, We're, We started to sing and dance, and then you reached into my pants. I knew I was in love. <laughs> Yeah, you know Nerfer is always going to sneak that shit in there about a chick and their dick. I like that because I'm a dude. I have a dick and I like chicks. There you go. All right, song eleven. Uh, so after high school reunion, Manatee definitely third best song. And the main part of this song in the verses it's just the drums and the bass and Perry singing and the chorus it's okay but these verses are so awesome uh, and my son loved this song we used to crank that in a Camaro which it was just awesome and he he remembers this song and that car uh, I drive down Haley Street in my five point oh no, do 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 boop boop, and it's just a simple drum beat and that bass, but it just sounds good. It, it's perfect. Got the rag top down so my Vegas can blow. I un hey, Sir Win Vegas, great speakers. I, I get that part. Maybe I'm more excited that about that part than other people are, but I I'm like a speaker junkie. And stereos, like old stereos with separate components and shit in them but we're not going to go down that road because I can tell probably not fun to talk about then the second verse I love this part I go by the old old school where I used to go to class all those dickhead teachers like Mr. Larson they can kiss my ass and all those stuck up rich girls eating fast food on the lawn they'll miss me when I'm gone I'm not a loser I'm not a loser. You know, yeah. It's, like I said, generic course, but the verses are so fucking awesome. And then it ends with Backpack Song. I'm going to get revenge on you for stealing my backpack. Kids loved that song, too. I remember cranking the shit out of that one. They should have ended it with I'm not a loser. So, all in all, and I stated this. The original trilogy... Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi was the weakest of the three, but it was still good because it was Star Wars. That's how I look at this album. I don't care. I, I know. I'm being a fucking total fanboy, and I don't care. I love that this whole week has been dedicated to Nerf Herder. They deserve it. Alright. Take it easy, and if it's easy, take it twice. I'm out. <laughs>